Uh, the weather's gone off, so it's not really cricket weather at the moment, is it? And it doesn't really? feel like, and it really is going to feel like autumn oh, uh, next week. After we've enjoyed some uh, summer-like uh, weather this uh, week, uh, we've now picked up more of an easterly breeze, and it's feeding in a lot of cloud. And this afternoon, it does look rather cloudy. And here's why. We've got high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south, uh, encouraging an easterly breeze. Now, uh, the south of the UK are getting some heavy rain this weekend. We probably won't get that rain until overnight Monday, in overnight Sunday into Monday, but it could be quite heavy in places. There's a massive cloud out in the North Sea and it's uh, fed inland and there's a lot of cloud out there this afternoon. We might see it thin and break a little bit in a few spots, but generally I think we're going to keep quite cloudy, but largely dry conditions uh, through the afternoon. The breeze coming in from the east uh, and temperatures still not doing too badly, are reaching around 18 or 19 degrees cooler along that coast with the easterly breeze. So through this evening and overnight, if anything, that cloud cover will become more extensive. Uh, it'll certainly lower, become a misty and murky. The old spot of drizzle is possible too. But because of all that cloud, temperatures won't drop away very far, only back to around 13 or 14 degrees. So once again tomorrow, the start of the weekend, a lot of cloud. That cloud breaking up a little bit more readily tomorrow, I hope. Uh, so uh, perhaps some brighter, sunnier spells, although that northeast corner could stay uh, fairly cloudy with a feed off the sea. And we could, because of the brightness, see one or two showers across parts of South Yorkshire in particular. They could be heavy and thundery and temperatures tomorrow lifting to around 21 degrees, Phil. Have we finally said goodbye to summer, do you think? I think so. Dear me, it's all down here. Really, but I feel like you're still looking quite summery. Is this a clue as to what we've got this weekend? No, you, okay. you've dressed, certainly next week, <laughs> you've dressed more appropriately. If you want to know the forecast for next week, look at what Amanda's wearing. There you go. Because <laughs> uh, it does look like it's turning uh, much more autumnal um, through next week. We've got a little bit of sunshine on the cards and temperatures uh, still above average for the time of year over the weekend. But at times we will be blighted by a lot of cloud. These are the scenes uh, in Leeds uh, this morning, leaden skies. And there's no surprise with it being an easterly breeze uh, coming in off the sea that we kept a lot of cloud in Scarborough as well. Uh, keep your photographs coming in to the BBC Weather Watchers page or we're on Instagram or on social media as well. Uh, so we, you can contact us that way and send your photographs in that way as well. Keely.Donovan on Instagram. So yes, tomorrow a lot of cloud to start the day, but I'm hopeful that that cloud will break up a little bit more readily than today and we should get some brighter spells, some spells of sunshine. The threat of the odd shower from the south of South Yorkshire, but for most places it stays dry. So we've got high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south, and that means the winds are coming in uh, from the east. The threat of the odd shower on Saturday and again the threat of the odd shower on Sunday, but it's the rain that spreads up from the south overnight into Monday that could be heavier and then next week uh, does look unsettled. So you can see on the satellite picture the big bank of cloud out in the North Sea. Uh, and it has stayed fairly cloudy for most of us through the day. We've got some breaks across South Yorkshire at the moment, but that low cloud will become more extensive again overnight. Some mist and murk in there as well, and there could even be the odd spot or two of drizzle if you're unlucky as well. But because of all that cloud cover, uh, temperatures are staying up at around 13 or 14 degrees, so certainly uh, not a cold night. Let's have a quick look at those high water times then. In Whitby at 6.37, and it's just gone seven in Bridlington. So we'll start the day tomorrow with a lot of cloud, but through the morning that cloud will thin and break and we should get at least some brighter, sunnier spells. It could be persistent in places, for example, uh, it could continue to hug that uh, North Yorkshire corner, that North Yorkshire coastline there. And you'll notice on the graphics the odd shower creeping up into parts of South Yorkshire. These showers, if they develop, uh, could be heavy and thundery. That breeze still coming in from the east and temperatures in the sunshine not feeling too bad, around 20 or 21 degrees. And then quite quickly tomorrow evening when we lose the heat of the day, uh, we'll see that cloud redeveloping again. And it is going to be a cloudy start on Sunday once again. Perhaps not quite as much sunshine uh, developing through the day on Sunday. It will stay fairly cloudy and uh, 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 the odd shower uh, pushing up from the south through the morning, a little bit of showery rain. But most of that rain will wait until uh, later in the night, uh, it's Sunday into Monday uh, to develop. Come on. Yes, uh, cooler days ahead. Thank you very much, Keely. Well, that is it. Hello there, good evening. It's going to feel distinctly autumnal through next week. As for the weekend, tomorrow starts off with a lot of cloud around, but we've got the better chance of some brighter spells compared with today. And a similar story on Sunday uh, with this heavy and persistent rain affecting southern parts of the UK. That will threaten us overnight Sunday into Monday. Uh, so overnight tonight, the cloud is extensive, there's some mist and murk, there might even be the odd spot of drizzle in places, but not a cold night uh, because of that cloud cover, temperatures only dropping back to around 13 or 14 degrees. And then tomorrow after that cloudy start,
out. Gradually, the clouds will thin and break in places. We'll still see some cloud lingering. A favoured spot would be that uh, northeast eastern corner and coastline uh, and then uh, through the afternoon we'll start seeing diverted off the motorway cloud around junctions 18 and 20 all weekend national highways say the route should reopen at six o'clock on monday morning now uh, let's take a look at what the weather has in store here's keely with the forecast Hello there, good evening. It's going to feel distinctly autumnal through next week. As for the weekend, tomorrow starts off with a lot of cloud around, but we've got the best chance of some brighter spells compared with today. And a similar story on Sunday uh, with this heavy and persistent rain affecting southern parts of the UK. That will threaten us overnight Sunday into Monday. Uh, so overnight tonight, the cloud is extensive. There's some mist. There might even be the odd spot of drizzle in places, but not a cold night uh, because of that cloud cover. Temperatures only dropping back to around 13 or 14 degrees. And then tomorrow, after that cloudy start, gradually the cloud will thin and break in places. We'll still see some cloud lingering. A favoured spot would be that uh, northeastern corner and coastline. Uh, and then uh, through the afternoon, we'll start to see a few showers pushing up into parts of South Yorkshire. These could be heavy and thundery. In the sunshine, though, feeling quite pleasant at around 21 degrees. And then tomorrow evening, quite quickly, that cloud redeveloping again. So a cloudy start to Sunday. We'll see some brightness developing and then rain overnight into Monday.